Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tina. I'm just here to bring you um, some of my new printables and to have a play around with them and just have a bit of fun generally. Just fancy doing something a bit different because I've been obviously exceptionally busy doing the actual junk journal journal series that I've been doing. So it was just kind of nice to come or, you know, I thought it would be kind of nice to just come and do something different. So these are my new printables that um, should be up in my Etsy to coincide with obviously the video going up. Uh, they're basically um, cigarette cards. Got these the other day. Absolutely beautiful. Um, they're over 100 years old. I think the date on the um, the pack I think was 1916. Um, so 102 kind of years old. So, you know, I've obviously kind of, um, you know, scanned them in. And then I've done a kind of variation on them. So what you've got is an eight page download. Um, and then obviously you print it as you wish. So you don't have to print all eight pages, but I wanted to give you kind of the maximum options. So each page has got 15 cards and basically um, the pack contains 15, uh, sorry, 30 different cards. Well, not quite 30 different cards actually, because um, these are the backs of cards. I just wanted to fill the space. I didn't want to kind of obviously, you know, give you blank space on the page. But also I think these are really rather nice to use. Um, you know, I quite like using like the French adverts and things like that. So I thought these were a little bit similar to that. Obviously this, this is the back of the cards. So what you've got is kind of the two original, um, you know, uh, cigarette cards as they came. And they're all obviously floral themed. So you've got these two, so that's a total of kind of 30 images. Then what I've done is to give you kind of maximum options, I have enlarged them slightly and I've given you basically two sepia pages because sometimes I quite like more colourless images because I'm a little bit obsessed about all oh, things have to be matching. Um, so having the sepia I think is just quite handy for if you've got kind of more brownie tones, neutral tones in a journal, you can obviously just print these in sepia and use them. So again, they're obviously the same images, so you've got, you know, 30 images in total. Then I've given you these um, black and white ones, and the black and white, all of these have been printed on ivory card, I should just point out. I think it's 160 GSM ivory card. I haven't printed them on white, I don't know quite, um, you know, how they would look on white, whether they would look really stark, I'm not quite sure, but the ivory, they look beautiful. So, um... Well, I think they look beautiful. So these are the black and white um, versions, which again, for me, I just really like having kind of more colourless um, images sometimes because obviously if I'm then working on a journal that's a particular colour theme throughout, I don't mind putting black and white images or sepia images in. It's just if they're kind of these and I was working on a blue journal, I wouldn't feel these would go. Whereas I would maybe feel these toned. Um, if that makes sense. So you've got obviously 30 of the black and white and then you've got another 30. These are basically the original coloured ones but they are just enlarged so if you can kind of see there you know it's quite a bit bigger obviously than the original. Let me check the diamond frame and that this is actually coming through quite well. Um, so that's kind of all that that is because again you know I want to give you options um, you know, it doesn't matter to me kind of thing, you know, how many pages that you get. Um, I just want to give you kind of the maximum options so you get good value for money and kind of, you know, I know that when I'm printing things, you know, sometimes I think, oh, if only I had that in this or if I had it bigger or, you know, different colour or whatever. So I just thought giving you the options, then it's up to you how you print them, whether you print them kind of small, you know, like this or larger like this, you know black and white or the sepia kind of entirely up to you really so what I thought we'd do is have a bit of a play with them and kind of just play around and see kind of what you can do with them so I'll start with kind of a colour one I think first of all and well just kind of drop them beside me at my son's desk obviously as kind of I tend to always be when I do these videos and I've just cut a couple of um kind of bases basically that I thought we could use as tags. So if I just literally 
just cut out a couple so I'm you know there these ones on this page are obviously all quite pinky ready themed so that's fine just going to kind of cut them out like that and as I say these are on ivory cardstock is how I've printed them I mean obviously you know you could print them kind of on white they would probably print okay on the buff coloured card I like doing that sometimes um you know you could experiment with other colour cards you don't have to be limited to kind of ivory or white really um you know kind of entirely up to you but yeah I mean I just think they're really pretty um found them in a beautiful antique shop I have to say they did cost me quite a bit because um you know they were a really nice set but I just thought they were you know really gorgeous so I hope that you guys really like them too so obviously that them that's them cut out and what I thought we'll do is just literally play around make a couple of tags and then I've got some other ideas also to kind of do with them so I've brought along a bit of book page here that I thought we could just back them onto for a bit of kind of layering now I have to hunt around for my glue Hold on. okay so we're just My glue going. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just pop a bit of glue on there. I'm just trying to avoid obviously putting it near the titles or where there's kind of biggish gaps in the text. So, you know, I've just kind of popped it on there. And then we can obviously pop this one on here. Actually, I will just see whether I've got any sheet music because obviously this red one's going to go on to book page. It may actually be better layered onto some sheet music. So I brought along just a few things to um, have some different options basically. So let me just pop this one down on here I think yeah I just thought these were just gorgeous and um, I had been kind of looking around for some for a while they had obviously different themes I got these and I got some with um ladies on as well so i'm hopefully going to kind of do something with those as well this is just kind of a you know my first stab really um and obviously i might try and do some other more adventurous things as well but i mean i just think things like this are great aren't they to just have to be able to grab from your stash um, I know that kind of my matchbox tops, you know, they are so handy because they're very versatile. But time and time again, I go for the most colourless ones, if that makes sense. So, you know, I don't tend to go for the ones with lots of colours. I tend to go for the quite neutrally ones, which was really what got me thinking about doing some of these in the black and white and the sepia is because... Um, you know, then I think that really kind of gives the most options, really. So, yeah, that's where I was kind of going with that. So, there we go. And then if we just ink those up a little bit. Ink pad here. And then I did just bring this little bit of book page here to kind of use as a kind of messy mat to be able to, um, you know, distress onto so that it's not going all over my board. And just for anyone who's only just kind of subscribed to my channel or anything recently, it's not because my board is super tidy because, of course, as you can see, it's super messy. Um, it's just that I don't want to kind of have the ink then you know, being picked up on everything, if you see what I mean. 
So this tag here, I've just literally made this from some book page and backed it onto some kind of buff coloured card. I love using the buff coloured card. I think it's just super versatile. Um, so that's kind of all I've done there. Just, there we go. And I'll just do this one. And this is exactly the same, except obviously it's some scrapbook paper. And I have just backed this again onto the buff coloured card in exactly the same way. You know, just to form a kind of tag shape. And I just did that in slow time because... Um, you know, to save you all kind of having to watch boring, boring parts of the uh, video. So what we could do is obviously cut this tag shaped, but I might just leave this one square actually, because I think that's kind of nice for a change. Um, but we just kind of leave this one obviously as a tag shape. So what I thought we could do, I've got some of this gorgeous soft net here. Um, and I have got some whiter kind of soft net here as well. So if I just kind of pull these bits and pieces in. I really like layering things up onto the um, fabric. It just looks so pretty. So just kind of demonstrate a little bit kind of how that would look. So if we were to do that, I think what we'll do is kind of glue that down and then we'll decorate the tag a little bit while it's drying. So we just kind of glue it on there. Like that. Yes. I just want to say a massive thank you um, to everyone who's been supporting my series with the actual junk journal. I've been having such a lot of fun with it. It's really nearly done now. Um, I just, you know, I needed to have a bit of a break from it, um, from the filming. I have got quite a few already in the bag, so that's really great news. Uh, but I just, I, yeah, needed to kind of have a little bit of a, a breather, really, because I had been doing it non-stop, kind of. Um, you know, so uh, I've, I've got quite a bit going on in my life at the moment and it's quite stress relieving to kind of um, do it but now it's kind of come to the point where I've been doing it so much it's, it's, not, it's not causing me stress um, but it's nice to come and do something different because sometimes as they say a change is as good as a rest isn't it so um, I just thought today it would be nice to come and do something a little bit different again. So hence obviously coming to do this. So we're just literally kind of doing a little bit of decorative kind of bits around the edge. Like that. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone's lovely comments. It's so nice to hear that you're all kind of really enjoying the series and um, you know all of your comments it's really 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 nice so thank you so much i really really appreciate it and um yeah i've been having so much fun with the series i mean like i have said before i am finding it quite challenging because it's definitely requiring a little bit of extra thought you know kind of using just junk rather than you know, like being able to print these off, it's just great, isn't it? And you've got then an abundance of things. I've got all this kind of fabric here, you know. Um, I've got here the scrapbook paper and things. So just using kind of junk, really, is, you know, quite hard, I think. So uh, hard but fun. I'm, I'm not complaining. But, you know, that's all spurred on, obviously, by the wonderful comments and really nice um, feedback that kind of everyone is leaving so that's really really nice. Now I brought along this kind of lace because I thought this would actually go quite nicely on here so I don't think I've um, cocktailed this I mean obviously it looks quite bright but sometimes kind of um, if the solution is not that that strong 
it can look quite pale still. So um, I'm going to just distress ink along this so it looks a bit darker. And what we could do is have a bit of sheet music, possibly in the background. Just tear off a little bit. Just turn that down there a bit more. As it was going a little bit pointy kind of thing so I wasn't so keen on that there we go. so down here I'm just going to trim this ribbon uh, not ribbon sorry the lace trim and then I'm just going to trim across kind of the top because this was actually kind of a double ribbon and I don't know why I keep calling it ribbon sorry a double lace and what I've done is um, obviously cut it down so so it's smaller. So I'll just get rid of those bits like that. Now, obviously, if I had um, my sewing machine, I could stitch around this tag, which would look really nice. I don't have my sewing machine, I'm afraid. Um, you know, I have done a tutorial, I think, with the sewing machine here at my son's desk, but. You know it's not ideal so um i don't very often do that okay so i'll just kind of weigh that down just quickly while we distress this little piece of sheet music like that an angle I mean that just looks so cute doesn't it literally you know hardly any kind of effort kind of went into that but it looks so cute just exactly like that I have got this little flower that we could add on here if we wanted or I did bring a postage stamp actually which I thought would go really well can't see now which is the right way up for that because obviously the glare of the lamp which is always a problem in here. Here we go. Just pop that around like that. Just having a little rummage through my my pile of supplies that I brought along for the video. Hmm. Right, okay. So we'll just stick the postage stamp down. And then what I might do is actually hot glue this. Just checking I'm still filming, I'm still in frame. Not that I'm paranoid or anything, but you know. After my few filming disasters lately, I don't want any more mishaps really, so uh, I'm going to just hot glue this down. Again, just for speed, you know, I wouldn't necessarily normally hot glue this, I would probably just wet glue it, but because we're filming, I just want it to obviously glue nice and quickly onto the tag. And then what we could do is kind of add just some little fabric here as the little tap. So just going to distress ink this. Like that. Oops, that's that long bit of piece there. Now, what I've 
probably do is use my stapler. I will probably use my larger stapler rather than my Tim Holtz one. This is where I would have quite liked to have stitched this, but obviously because we're filming, I will just staple it. Um, you know, because obviously I don't want to kind of go nipping off to the sewing machine. So we'll just staple it instead and it, it looks nice. Like that. And then I'm just deciding I think we'll just pop a little flower on there. So I'll just cut this off. It's just a flower that's attached to a kind of trim here. Probably quite like it on that side. Oh, I wonder if I might have distressed that on the wrong side there. So we'll just distress it here, this side. Very dark now. Well, never mind. There we go. And then what we could do is just finish it off with a little bow at the top. Or we could maybe pop some more. Lace across the top might look really pretty. So again, I'm just going to kind of distressing that. So just cut that off. And again, I'm just going to kind of cut this bit off where I kind of trimmed it down from being, you know, a double sided piece of lace. Pop those in the bag beside my desk there. Right, I will just hot glue this just for speed and also because it's actually hot gluing onto more fabric, uh, gluing onto more fabric. So I just want to kind of make sure it clings nice and quickly. There we go. So I mean that looks really cute doesn't it? And that's just kind of, you know, not very long at all. Um, you know, and yeah, looks really, really sweet. So I like like the look of that one. So I'm just going to move that one to one side whilst we do another little tag. And then after that, I've got a couple of other ideas for these as well. So um, we'll kind of see how we get on. So for this one, I've got some doily here. So I thought we could add a bit of doily. I have got this little bit of scrap bit paper. It's literally a scrap. But I did wonder whether we could kind of have a strip on here probably should have torn it without the core of the paper showing I just thought that would look oops would look quite nice so just glue that down right up there in the corner. Probably better. So I'll just distress ink that. Actually I'll just trim it because that paper was not very straight. bring this little chipboard tile for this one for a um what do you call it a tab at the top so we just stamp a little bit on the corners and loving using my olive green stays on since I kind of pulled it back out of my buried stash so we're just kind of stamping olive green I think which is quite nice and I think we'll just do these couple of corners here Here. 
but I think what we'll do is add something else to this as well so just kind of having a look around me seeing what bits and pieces I've got obviously what we could do is kind of stick the image onto some some net again I do love how that looks I must say so we might do that regardless of what else we end up doing on this tag so let me just pop that down on there to cut that just roughly so as I haven't got so much fabric hanging around but then I'll probably trim it further in a moment but just so that we can kind of move it to one side kind of weight it down and then what I thought we could do is have kind of something else on here as well so I tend to use um, a combination of either kind of, um, you know, stamped items or printables. So what we could do is use one of the, um, these, uh, you know, the back of the cigarette cards, because I think they may work quite nicely. So if I just kind of cut this one down. I mean, I just think these resemble a little bit the kind of French adverts. So I think these might be quite a handy kind of background filler, which, you know, I like having things like that kind of in the backgrounds. <laughs> Sometimes I even kind of prefer them almost to the actual fronts. I know that sounds very strange, but, you know, sometimes things like that are kind of so useful. And I love kind of the scrolly kind of um, heading of them. So, you know, like that, that just to me looks really, really, really nice. So I'll probably put the doily poking out slightly more. So we'll just glue the doily down. Check I'm filming and in frame. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to have this kind of here. So I'm just going to ink this up before we kind of glue it down. Because obviously I've inked that um, tag quite a bit already. So I don't really want to kind of ink it yet again. And I think that looks really nice just like that. So just glue this on just kind of like that at a bit of an angle and we'll pop this one on here and then now I'm not sure so much that I like that chipboard tile as the tab anymore because it looks a bit layered up, you know, in a perfect line, which I'm not so keen on. Um, so I think what we'll do is actually we'll have a kind of tab on there instead. I have got just a little scrap of um, green ribbon, which we could use. Let me just have a look. Now, unfortunately, I did have a bit of a look here just now to see whether I had any of those little hole reinforcers, which I had put out with my stuff ready to bring for the video. And I obviously put it out and then didn't pick it up in the end to bring it here. So, you know, that bearing that in mind, obviously, I don't really want to kind of punch a hole and then not have the hole reinforcer. So... 
actually, let me just check here to the side of me just before I commit to, you know, deciding that I definitely haven't got it or definitely haven't got them, should I say. No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. So, which is a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. We will, um, we'll make do. So, what I'll do is we'll just glue this down. I'm just wondering, do we want it off to the side? Kind of off to that side, I think, slightly. Not too hugely, but just a little bit. Just pick it up. I'm trying not to burn my fingers. There we go. Like that. So, I mean, that looks really pretty, just, just as it is, I think. So I've got some upholstery fabric here. Obviously this is because we haven't got, um, you know, the whole reinforcers here with me. So all I'm doing is literally, I've just quickly kind of snipped off a little bit and we can kind of pop this up here. Now again, in an ideal world, I would have stitched this on. And it is again, slightly annoying that I haven't got the sewing machine here. Obviously this is a little bit too big, so I'm just trimming it down. So what I might do is just um, glue this on just for this, um, to, well not tutorial, but this video. And then I might, um, you know, stitch it on with the sewing machine because I think it would benefit from being... Trying to work out which is the right side of this fabric. I think it is this side. So I can't help but think that side looks better. So let me just let me just distress this side instead. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to literally glue this on slightly, just so it's hanging on to show you guys really, and also so that I remember what I was intending to do. And then obviously, you know, when I finish, I can obviously then stitch around that because I think it would look kind of nicer stitched across. I didn't mind the other one being stapled um, because it was a much narrower piece of fabric, but because I wanted this quite a big, wide, chunky piece, I think it would benefit from being stitched. And what we could do is um, just round the corners here of this particular one. There we go. I can get in there quite properly, but there we go. So, I mean, that looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? So, that's those two kind of tags with these little cute um, cigarette cards. So I've just got a couple more kind of ideas really that I wanted to kind of have a play around with. So, and again, you know, hopefully I'm not kind of just, I mean, I'm not trying to teach people anything really. I'm just having a play and thought I'd switch the camera on. So I've made this to kind of make a little tiny bag and, um, not bag, sorry, a kind of, uh, Oh, what do you call these things? You know, like a little, <laughs> a little envelope, a light wage envelope type thing. Um, and obviously I just hadn't glued it together properly. So I'm just going to quickly glue that together now. And obviously I made this in this buff color. I think this was an old suspension file, um, but I love using this kind of color. I think it really is really nice. So again, what I thought we could do is either use the black and white or the um, sepia toned pieces. So I think we'll go for a sepia one. So 
and again it doesn't matter which one we really want to use because you know they're all really nice so I'm just going to cut this one round And again, I'm just going to kind of rough it up at the sides. Like that. And then all I will do is literally, I'm just going to take my stays on. Now, I'm more using the black again at the moment because um, my brown is kind of gradually drying up. And... Uh, I seem to be struggling to manage to get hold of another brown one at the moment. So I think the ones on Amazon are like an add-on item. And um, I thought Hobbycraft had started doing the stays on, but I couldn't see them in there the other day. So I don't want to have to pay kind of like, sometimes you pay, you know, six pounds for ink pad plus 3.50 for shipping. So I'm just going to have to kind of wait really for the moment. So there's kind of just a little bit of decorative kind of stamping, just literally, you know, for a bit of fun on there. Again, we can kind of layer this up just on some, some sheet music. Just trying to make the sheet music so that you can kind of see the most music if that makes sense so probably here find it helpful um, when I create kind of printables and things to actually do a project kind of using them because uh, it's quite good to be able to test them out and sort of see whether I think that they're nice to use you know because um, it's only through using them that then you think oh actually that would be better smaller or you know that would be better this way or that way so you know, and plus it's a nice way to kind of launch, launch things, isn't it? By actually doing a kind of launch video, really. So, uh, yeah. Right, so if I just distress this a little bit. And then just distress the... Uh, you know, the envelope itself, a little bit around here. See, I'm trying to be really stingy with this um, fabric, even though this is my Nan's neck curtain that, you know, if you watch my videos regularly obviously you'll know that I have got lots of it um, and actually I was lucky enough to get some more the other day slightly different but very similar um, you know so I have got an abundance of it which is great because it coffee dyes brilliantly and it's so handy and everything I've used it for it just looks great so um, you know hopefully the new new batch of neck curtain which is currently in the boot of my car hopefully that will also look you know will be just as kind of useful because this has been absolutely fantastic you know I've loved having it so if we have that kind of along there like that what we could do is kind of just have a little bit of neck curtain on the kind of lid or maybe it doesn't really need it and then here, across a little bit of pearl 
trim, which I thought might be quite nice on this one. So first thing we'll do actually is um, glue this on. So I'm just going to hot glue this down because again, you know, I don't want to have to kind of be weighing it down and waiting for it to dry whilst doing the video. So there we go. Now obviously covered in the hot glue, which always nice look, isn't it? Okay. And then we're just going to glue it down and I'm going to glue around where the actual card is first and then we can obviously glue the other bit of lace on in a moment but if we get that bit down first and then we know where it is and we can obviously dob bits of glue on the kind of filler 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 on the filler bits of the neck curtain. Just so it's not kind of flapping around loosely. There we go, like that. Bits here. Okay. And then actually I quite like having that as a little kind of solidy type of bit there. So this is just some trim, I think I actually got it at Christmas last year, it was kind of some Christmas decorations, but I thought that looked quite pretty kind of, um, you know, as a kind of solid -y type bit to the side. I don't know whether these are going to be able to be distressed a little bit, so they're less white. That's quite nice. And what we could do is have a little bow there as well. I will just double check actually just before we kind of go with that. <laughs> that it didn't look better with just one just one row. Because obviously sometimes you know you think things look good and then try it somehow else and think oh, actually that looked better. Or maybe that does look better. I mean, again, this is another one of those scenarios where it probably really doesn't matter at all, does it? But, you know, <laughs> just endlessly kind of debate and wonder which looks better, which looks better. Or we could have the bow kind of on the, on the lid or, you know, the flap which might be rather nice. Oh, that's nice actually, yeah. So, let's just go for that. So, I'm just going to literally glue this piece of neck curtain down here. Like that. i will just round it off a little bit here as it's you know not quite so square and then we'll pop the bow on here I hope that I'm in frame oh, you just get this panic sometimes and think oh my gosh am I just filming all this and actually I'm not even not even in frame and then we'll just have this little piece kind of down there, which looks really pretty, doesn't it? So, just again, I'm just going to hot glue this. This is that new batch of hot glue that I bought from Amazon. So, I hope that this is um, going to glue this down because uh, it was things like this that the previous lot of glue was not too brilliant on. You know, it would appear that it had glued it and then kind of half an hour later it had come unstuck. So that's another way to use obviously the little cigarette cards. And then the final way, um, let me actually check that I have got the bits for the final thing that I thought that we would do. 
pulled on everybody for a moment. The final thing that I thought that we could do is um, just make, make, uh, sorry, I can't speak for some reason. The final thing that I thought that we could do was make um, just a little paper clip. So, I mean, obviously I've done a tutorial before for paper clips and obviously other people, you know, have done lots of tutorials. So, you know, I'm not claiming to be kind of the paper clip person or anything like that. I know that there's lots of paper clip um, videos out there, which, you know, I'm sure are kind of much nicer than mine. Um, but, you know, they are very fun to make, aren't they? So uh, I just thought, a bit like the matchbox tops, that these were perfect sizes to just pop on to a paper clip. So just cut him around this one. And again, I mean, it, you know, I didn't have to be too fussy about which card to use because they're all really nice and um, they would all have looked really good. So just move those bits out of the way. And again, you know, we could back this onto some book page or something for an extra kind of layer. So I'll just kind of uh, glue that down. Again, I just kind of rough the edges up slightly. I really like doing this. Just kind of, um, I guess, just adds a bit of dimension, doesn't it, to you know whatever it is that you're working on, really. So you know, in fact, I had meant to do that on one of those tags. So I might just do that in a minute. And I've got this gorgeous green, it's just upholstery fabric um, sample, upholstery fabric sample. But I just think it looks gorgeous against that, um, the green leaves there. And then I wondered whether we could actually kind of layer it onto the, you know, this fabric as well, rather than a piece of lace. So... I'm just going to check that we want it this way round and not this way round. That makes sense. Right, I think what I'm going to do is glue it onto this ivory upholstery fabric. And again, because I'm gluing onto fabric and just for speed, I'm just using the hot glue here. You know, because obviously that's just nice and quick and we don't have to then wait for it to dry. Just going to cut it round. Again, doesn't have to be straight, you know. We're not looking for this to be 100% perfect because, uh, you know, that's actually quite boring, isn't it? So, there we go. And then obviously, and then just glue it onto the green velvet. So before I do that, I might just literally distress around here a bit onto this ivory fabric. Oh, I love that. It looks really lovely. If you watch my channel a lot, you'll know that I absolutely adore green. So, uh, you know, for me, this is a kind of winning combination. Let's put 
lots of hot glue on there. And I'm just going to trim it up here. Now, obviously, this was the fabric sample that had been cut with the pinking shears. So I could cut around that now and get rid of the pinking shear edges. But actually, I don't mind it having you know, one edge different and the rest with the pinking shears, if you see what I mean. I think that looks quite nice. And I had, I thought, found a green button just before coming on. Which, unfortunately, now I can't really see kind of where that would go. It would have to be kind of hanging off of here. Let me see whether I could get it hanging off. Just dig around in my little tin that I like to bring along for the tutorials and um, videos. Just have a look at the... I don't know what this will look like, but just thought we'd just try it. You know, it might look good, it might look terrible. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, so to speak, so we'll just try it out. Oh. I am all fingers and thumbs today, my gosh, absolutely awful. <sighs> Some days worse than others, but today's obviously one of them rubbish days. Right, so unfortunately that doesn't really kind of work that well because that button is obviously quite bulky and heavy. What I would have to do is obviously probably glue it into place there as well. So if I just bring that back up, you know, we could kind of glue it on there. Should we try and do that? I don't know how well this is going to go. So if this is a disaster, especially if you're new to my channel, then please forgive me. I don't. <laughs> don't normally experiment quite so wildly although saying that I I have done recently I had a bit of a disaster with some crackle glaze effect and things like that so this is obviously becoming a bit of a habit but just holding it on there hoping that that glues on right so we've just got the little bit of the pin kind of sticking out which I quite like you know I think that looks quite sweet I did think we could have a little bit of green I'm on to trim. I'll just cut that along there. I love this green. It just, um, again, picks up the flower just perfectly. So, or, or the petal, uh, the leaves, the leaves of the flower just perfectly. So, just pop that down there. And we'll just use the wet glue for this. Only because, you know, since that experience with that rubbishy hot glue that I had, I don't have so much faith in my hot glue now. So we'll just go with the wet glue. Right. I think that looks really cute. Let me check. I'm filming. I'm in frame. So then what we can do is obviously just use a little bit of um, card. So all I'm going to do is just use this bit here that was a bit of blank space. On these to be able to attach the paper clip to. So again, just pop it like that. And then all we're going to do is obviously glue this on the back. Now I thought this would be rather nice as a top paper clip. So we're going to just pop it quite near the top, like that. So again, a nice bit of glue around the clip itself. And then all around the card, like that. There we go. Turn it over because it's just easier to press it from this side. Obviously, because we've got that bulky button now. There we go. So obviously, if this now had a page to go on, let's just demonstrate kind of how that would look. 
see the clip which has gone there. And that's your paper clip. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So pretty. So obviously we've made kind of four things, obviously with those, um, you know, little printables. I just think there's something a little bit different. Obviously we've incorporated the black and white one here and the sepia one here. And then obviously the colour ones, um, you know, there. So hopefully that's given you kind of a couple of ideas as to, you know, ways that you could use them. Um, I just think they're kind of quite a fun, handy thing to have in your stash to kind of use as fillers and, you know, layer uh, things to layer and, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, so, and obviously I was excited when I found them and keen to kind of share them with you guys. So I hope that you, um, <laughs> you know, had fun kind of in this little uh, video. And yeah, um, if you want to go and kind of check out the little printables, then obviously they're in my shop. Um, which the link is below and yeah hope that um, you enjoyed the video so thanks very much for tuning in and have a nice day thanks a lot then bye